Um, as circuit championship director, my role is uh, quite simple. First thing is uh, to propose and work with the commission's president in developing new championships or developing the category. And the second thing is that we have to elaborate and create the rules uh, and then to propose some regulations, sporting, and also to work with the technical department on technical rules uh, so that we can manage the championships. And the last part is uh, to go on the field and to be the referee of the events. Uh, for this, we work with race director, with officials, and we try to be the face of the FIA on the field for the teams, for the promoters, and for all the stakeholders around the motorsport. With all this, we have a full view on what is happening on circuit racing. Uh, this means that we also have to deal with drag racing, track racing, but also single-seater cars, touring cars, or endurance cars. Uh, this is a global scope for the development of uh, motor racing on circuits for the FIA. For sure, Formula E is a very interesting project to develop in the FIA. Uh, I had the, the, the big chance and the big opportunity to arrive at the FIA right at the moment where we were starting thinking about new opportunities for electric racing and Formula E project came and it's, I, I can say that it is part of the, the most exciting project I had the, the opportunity to work on uh, within the FIA. But this is not the only one. I think the, 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 the real aspect which was new for me when I joined a federation like the FIA was that we have the power to develop and we have the power to boost the system. Uh, and therefore, this is my, let's say, 100% activity during the day, uh, which is to push new ideas, to push new projects, or to push the current project, to push them to be uh, more activated uh, for the fans, to be more interesting for the, the, the teams, to be more interesting for the drivers, so that we create a global envir environment which makes this project attractive for everybody. Formula E was a very specific one, uh, very much linked to uh, electric technology. For sure, this electric technology is nearly everywhere right now in, in our uh, different championships. It is in hybrid solution for LMP1, it is in uh, hybrid solution for Formula 1. But for sure, this championship is focused on this one. And the main target was to take the assets or the DNA uh, of FIA on managing the motorsport on the most uh, traditional way, I would say. And on the other side is, was to take Formula E as a co totally new concept, no noise, new cars, new technology, specific city tracks. Everything was to be created and gathering the two systems into only one, making it a real motorsport product. Uh, this was what we achieved with a very strong promoter uh, with Formula E holding. And I think right now we achieved part of the job, which was to create a real racing activity with the uh, energy of electricity uh, and now we still have to develop it to be one of the most attractive one and to, fi to find out how to attract the fans around this product. I'm not, I don't know if I, I, I would give only one advice. I think the first one is to be yourself. Uh, as far as you, you like the activity, it can be the same in motorsport or anywhere else, but for sure, in motorsport, a few things are very specific. The first one is that you have to accept uh, short-term and long-term. Uh, short-term because if you want to race, you cannot wait after the race to get a solution. You need the solution for the race. Uh, and this is one of the main parameters we have to take in, into account every day, is that you need solutions, an instantaneous solution in many cases, to solve the problem of the people. But on the other side, you cannot only think short term because short term could lead you to decisions which would not be good for the future and you have to think long term. We spoke about Formula E, it's a perfect example. We think long term for the development of motorsport. Short term, nobody would like a product which is making no noise, which is uh, not uh, fast enough. For, but for long term, this is the view and this is how you need to develop. So in terms of uh, first quality is to be able to uh, live with these two sides, think short term, find solutions short term, but also be able to have a vision and think long term and be able to be open-minded enough to think of new things. Uh, the second thing I would say is uh, focused or at least committed. Uh, I think this is true in general, but in motorsport, people don't understand if you are uh, looking like somebody not concerned or not involved enough. So you need to be understandable for the, you need to be able to explain to people your constraints, be sure that you understand their constraints, and at the end, to propose solutions. 
And for this, if you are focused and if you are uh, committed, then you have real bigger chance than the others. And the last one would be um, more on the, the way to behave. I think uh, it, it is difficult because sometimes you always expect to see things which are exactly what you would like to, uh, to, to see happening in the future. But sometimes you have to work with a, bit, a little bit of flexibility. But flexibility doesn't need or doesn't mean that you are not professional or doesn't need, mean that you are not enough um, demanding on the, on, the, on the people or on the things. Uh, it is just a matter to obtain the result in a better way and in a way which make people happy and make people excited and make people even more focused and even more committed. So I, I would summarize with these three things. Short term, long term vision, able to manage the both at the same time, able to manage uh, a very focused and a very involved uh, behavior, but on the other side, be flexible enough For sure, what is clear is that um, people want to see uh, some counterparts understanding their problems and finding solutions, or at least doing all what they can to find solutions. And I, I would say that uh, this is today the, the way I, I try to behave, the way I try to push my team, is that we are there to help the system, we are there to push the system, and we should never give up. So as long as we can push, we push. And as long as we can obtain results, we try to get the best results we can.